You may recognize the house behind me as the set of HGTV's new hit show, Living With Ed. It's also the actual home of the star of Living With Ed, Ed Begley Jr. Ed has a new line of environmentally friendly cleaning products and we're going to go talk to him right now. So tell me a little bit about the genesis of this idea. How did it come to be that now there's these Begley's Best cleaning products? Well, I went into a restaurant called Real Food Daily and I met this guy, John Watt who said, oh, I've been looking for you for years. I've got something for you in the car. I thought he had a DVD he wanted me to sign or something. He came back with a bottle, not like this, just a plain bottle with the spray in it. He said, it's a non-toxic cleaning product. It's really good, huh. and uh, you can help me market it. You're known for this environmental stuff. You've right. been driving electric cars since 1970. Your house is solar powered. You're the guy for this. What John didn't know is that I was looking for non-toxic products to launch this company, Begley's Best. I was going to do what Paul Newman did with Newman's Own, to have good products and then give a lot of money away to charity. I tried the product to clean great. I sent it to an independent lab to check. It checked out non-toxic. So I started selling it. Just one store to begin with, Lassen's Markets in Thousand Oaks. I got my friends at Whole Foods to try it in one store and pretty soon I was in a number of stores and now it's in well over a hundred stores. And you're doing this yourself. This isn't just they put your picture on a label. This is your baby here. There's you're no employees. It. It's just me. I'm doing it all. That's why I can give so much to charity. There are different products here. One of them is a spot remover. That's this one here. That's this one That's that I clothing. started with. Yup, it spots on clothing, spots on carpet, countertop tile. It's all purpose cleaner too, but it's great as a spot remover. And I also sell it in a concentrate. Then I also have a wonderful all-purpose cleaner that does all kinds of other cleaning around the house. Okay. And uh, then I have a very specific glass and surface cleaner. It's also an antibacterial. It's got a little bit of um, alcohol in it and some coconut. And it works very, very well. It's a great glass Sounds and surface. Sounds like it might taste good too, but I guess yeah. you're not supposed to. Yeah. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of potential inventors thinking to themselves, of course, Ed Begley Jr., he can put out a product because uh, everybody knows who he is. He puts his face on the bottle and it's easy for him. Is that the case? I won't say it didn't make it easier, but it certainly was not at all easy. Okay. First of all, people have an impression of celebrities. They think I'm a millionaire. I'm not a millionaire. I had to borrow money to do this. There's other things that have to happen. Does it really work? Is it non-toxic? What's the marketing strategy? Do you have a distributor? The first sale you get on my name or face or reputation. Right. And that also didn't happen just sitting on the shelf. That's not the way it sold. It was on the shelf and it sat there. What is this? Is it a joke? They weren't sure if somebody, they were being punked. I had to go there and stand with a little table, a little like huckster table with bottles. The first bottle is because of the name or face or reputation. The second bottle is a good formula that's inside. And even the first sale probably isn't even so much because of your picture. It's because you're a guy who cares about the planet and you care about what you're doing. I think probably right. any invention, there's probably no better salesman than yourself, at least to start out with, to go out and just tell people about what your product does. Right. If, if it works and you care about it, people will usually give you a shot. So what do you say we go uh, spill some things? Let's spill some stuff. I'm going to spill some salsa on Ed's wood surface here. We had a pre-existing stain okay. there too. It, um, Let's get this pre-existing stain. Wow. That old one kind of looked soaked in there. It's gone. It's too easy. This is too easy on okay. wood. We've got to put something on a fabric. This is a protein drink. Let's do some juice on the shirt. Oh, I'm a slob. First thing I'm going to do, you would wipe it off like this, but you still have a stain. Now, this is the spot cleaner that you This is a spot remover. Now, when this dries, there will be no stain there. There will be no juice. We can do it with the soy sauce. We can do it with the salsa. There was stain a stain was there, right there from the juice, all the different juice substances. Yeah. We can do it with the red, too, so you can really see the red. You're crazy. Get some salsa. Oh, I'm a slob. Now, the first thing, of course, anybody would do, you get a napkin, you wipe the, the salsa yeah. away, and, but now you've got a stain. There's a stain there. It will dry. We can get a blow dry right now if you want. Well, your shirt's dry now, Ed, and it's completely spot-free. The salsa was somewhere on this side, protein drink on that side. Obviously, this stuff will work on just about anything on your shirt. It will. Yeah, uh, probably even work on blood and grass stains. Uh -oh. <laughs> what can a person do if they want to pick up some of your product here, Begley's Best? Well, they can get it uh, from Wizard, of course. They can get it from Begley'sBest.com. Great. They can get it from Whole Foods, Wild Oats, uh, Lassen's Markets. There's lots of health food stores that carry it. Right. It's also available at Life'sInventions.com. You can find out about Ed's products and all kinds of other inventions at Life'sInventions.com. And, of course, check out Living With Ed on HGTV. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, sharing some of your cleanliness with me today. Thanks for coming to my home.